destiny was waiting for Carbine from the time he was bred by Musket from Mersey at Sylvia Park, Auckland in 1885. As a two-year-old, Carbine had no peer in New Zealand, winning five races from five starts. Australia beckoned, and Carbine embarked on a career that would earn him one of the great international reputations for any horse raced or bred in New Zealand. Australian race crowds quickly warmed to Carbine, who became affectionately known as Old Jack. His career as a three-year-old was capped by the first of two back-to-back -back victories in the Sydney Cup, where he carried nine stone, 12 pounds above weight for age. Carbine returned to dominate the 1890 Sydney Autumn Carnival, winning five races in four days, including the Sydney Cup on the second day, and the all-aged stakes and the Cumberland stakes on the third day. The real goal was Flemington in the spring and the 1890 Melbourne Cup. From the statistics, it looked impossible. Carbine was given a record weight, 10 stone, 5 pounds, or 66 kilos, in the largest Melbourne Cup field ever, 39 starters. Yet Carbine made the victory even more memorable, winning in the record time of 3 minutes 28 and a quarter seconds. That time has been bettered, but the other two records are likely to stand forever. Carbine retired from racing with 33 wins from 43 starts. He finished second six times, third three times, and was only ever unplaced in one race. His stake winnings of 29,626 pounds was an Australasian record for more than 20 years. Carbine went to stud in Australia for four years, siring the winners of more than 200 races, before being sold to the Duke of Portland for 13,000 pounds. His greatest success in England was with the 1906 derby winner, Spearmint. Perhaps a true measure of Carbine's great career is the fact that he was an inaugural member of the Australian Racing Museum and Hall of Fame in 2001. A treasured item in the museum is this umbrella belonging to Carbine's owner, Donald Wallace. Carbine had a habit of stopping for acknowledgement near the bookies and could only be moved on when Wallace waved his brolly. Carbine was the first New Zealand thoroughbred to be accorded international fame and his legacy as one of the greatest racehorses and sires ever bred in the Southern Hemisphere endures to this day.